Welcome back to PC Stack 5. Today we proceed with our journey across the managed identities and I want to show you how we can access uh, securely a target resource using a managed identity. Generally speaking, you simply need to configure permissions or roles for the managed identity in order to be able to access the target resource. However, there are some special cases, like for example, accessing a SQL Azure database that need additional steps like configuring specific items in the target resource. Just to give you an idea, whenever you want to access a SQL Azure database with a managed identity, no matter what, if it is a system assigned or a user assigned, you have to create an actual login for that managed identity in the target SQL Server database. And you have to provide to specify specific roles for that login in the target database. Then when you access the target database, you have to provide a specific connection string in order to declare that you want to rely on the managed identities. And if it is a system assigned managed identity, you will simply need to specify that the authentication will be Active Directory Managed Identity. If it is a user assigned one, you will also have to specify in the user ID the client ID of the user assigned managed identity. So, like always, let me show you in practice how to do that. So, in this demo, we have a SQL Azure database called PSE's SQL Demo DB, which is hosted inside a PSE's SQL Demo SQL Server on Azure. From a configuration point of view, I also have a PSE SQL Consumer Azure function, which has been configured under Identity to have a System Assigned Managed Identity that you can see right here. Then, in the configuration of my Azure function, I provided in the environment settings a configuration variable called SecureDB connection, which is defined as the following one. So the server is the SQL Azure server that I showed you. The authentication is Active Directory Managed Identity, and the target database is the one that I showed you before. Now, if I will switch to SQL Management Studio, we can see that in this database we have a table called Customers in which I created three fake customers with a customer ID and a customer display name. And what I'm going to do is to enable a user a login in this database and make that login able to be a DB data reader role in my database. So let me do that right now in this DB. And now that we created the login and we granted the DB data reader role to that uh, managed identity represented by this uh, login name, we can switch to the Visual Studio source code of an Azure function that I already published in that function app. And I can show you that here we simply rely for the sake of simplicity on the SQL connection object of uh, Microsoft uh, dot, uh, uh, data.sql client and here in debug mode when we run Rockali we can use the default Azure credential provided by Azure.identity library so that we can authenticate locally in the bug mode on this machine as long as we have in the settings file for this application a client ID and the client secret of an application that I will have to manually register in the Azure entry ID that I'm targeting. And in production, we will skip these three lines and we will simply create a, a connection for that connection string. And then we can make a query opening the connection and retrieving all of the customers and storing those customers in an array of customer objects. And then we return the result as the response of the Azure function. So let me switch back to Azure. And here where we have the Azure function app, we can go into the list customer function that I have. I can switch to code plus test and I can actually test my function and see if it is running as expected. So let me maximize the console and let me click on test run. Now I can click on the run button 
and we can see that we can retrieve the customers from the target database. But we don't have any password or any explicit username in the connection string. We simply rely on the managed identity, system assigned managed identity, that we configure for the function app that we are using. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.